Hello, my name is Danny Diaz with Cisco Attack. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make changes to a Java config XML file and then upload this to the CUCMT FTP server so the changes can be updated by all Java clients in the network. Here we have a Java config XML file opened in my text editor. I have a change to make because the domain of my voice services domain parameter is incorrect. So, I need to change that, save it, then we need to upload this to the CUCM server that has a TFTP service running. Actually, it needs to be uploaded to all CUCM nodes that have the TFTP service running. So I'm going to change this to the right domain, and I will save it to my local operating system. So. Let's go to the CUCM administration and we will navigate to the Cisco Unify OS administration page, which is right here. We will log in here. Now choose software upgrades and then TFTP file management. You can upload your edited Java config XML file over the top of the old one, but if you want to make sure the new one is added, you can type Jabber in the Find TFTP Files field here and then click Find. You should see your current Jabber config XML file. Select the file and then delete selected, which will remove that file from CUCM. Now, all you have to do is click Upload File and find your updated Jabber config XML file. Then simply select Upload File. You don't have to add anything to the directory field because forward slash is a default if that field is blank. You should see a message that the upload was successful. To check it, type Jabber in the Find TFTP Files field as you did before. Once the file is uploaded, the TFTP service will need to be restarted before that takes effect. Change the navigation page to Cisco Unify Service Ability and click Go. Let's log in here. Then click Tools and choose Control Center. Feature Services. Choose the CUCM node for your server and click Go. You should see Cisco TFTP in the CEM services list. Select that and then click Restart at the top of the page. This should only take less than a minute. After you see the notice that the command was sent successfully, you can then click the refresh page option. Then you should see the uptime to the right of the TFTP server showing zero days and only a few seconds. Now, you will need to repeat this process on any other CUCM server that has a Cisco TFTP service running. That's it. You can easily test for this change by using a URL in your browser. And here is the new modified Java config XML file. This is the IP address of my CUCM TFTP server. If it worked, you will see the same XML text that you had in your Notepad++ or in your text from your editor, as in my case. This is also a good way to test before any Jabber clients log in to retrieve the file. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.